Hello everyone this is ASMR studio welcoming you to my new photoshop tutorial and today i'll show you how to manipulate photo like that so this one is uh, too much easy to make this one so i have a preset and uh, light effect actually uh, the photo editing effect and after that i will just do that so uh, i just use some stock photos over there at first the uh, i'm just turning off all the things at first i took a uh, white actually the gray background and then this one the sunset and then the cloud and then the just shadow and the stone and then the highlighted and the shadows and another shadow and model and after that the light effect and then the another shadow and then i just applied the effect and the logo as well so let's start the tutorial before I start my tutorial i want to say one thing please do subscribe my channel and hit the bell icon for the new notifications and let's start the video at first i'll go to the file and take a new and i'll take the 2560 and 1440 and the frame size and the resolution will be 200 dpi or pixel per inch ppi and color mode rgb for the web purpose i'm using this one and hit the create button you'll get the new blank layer and after that go to the ad adjustment layer and the solid color and take the gray color this like this and hit the ok button why am this taking just because of if you want to change the color you can change easily from the just solid color options so i'm taking this one and after that go to the file and place embedded options and i'll take the stock image the sunset and just place this one okay and just make it bigger press the shift and alter button and hold it and make it bigger like that okay and hit the tick button and just make it crystallize here and after that go to the file and place embedded options and here is the cloud that is another stock image and place this one and make it bigger like that so like this and hit the ok button and right press and crystallize the layer and now mask this cloud and go to the gradient options and select this gradient and press the shift button and before that just make it black when this one is white press the shift button and just drag it like that yeah and after that you should reposition this one like yeah that's good uh, i will just uh, mask this one a little bit yeah that's nice i think this one is good okay that's good and after that select the sunset this sunset options and go to the filter and uh, blur gaussian blur and make it blur like that 48 to 50 that's good and you can adjust this one again yeah after that just go to the file and open up i'll open up the model image i downloaded this stock image from the devena.com and easily i can select this one just uh, i'll go to the selection tool and make it zoom and just select this portion this por portion as well the yeah select those portion which one you want to select and it will automatically select and select this portion and this the don't select the white portion okay select this portion select the model face here make it zoom and just make the size bigger or smaller by pressing that bracket opening and closing for the purpose and select this portion okay that's good selecting this portion also yeah okay and then the lower part of the model's body that's good make it bigger and select those area which is left so be careful when you are selecting okay 
this portion okay that's good you can take the shadow or you can just remove if you want to remove or deselect any area press the alter button and select the those area so that's good select options and press the shift button hold it and select and mask options and then make it a little bit bigger and after that increase the brush size and setup is like that and just drag those portion the edges refine the edges so here is another portion to drag yeah that's good yeah that's good okay make it bigger press the third bracket opening and closing and I'll deselect this portion yeah refine this area okay that's good and here the new layer with the layer mask select this one from the drop down menu and hit the ok button you will get the transparent background and select this model and take it in this window press the ctrl t and make it smaller like that okay and then right press and apply the layer mask and then go to the file place embedded options here is a stone make it smaller like that yeah that's good that's good and right press restylize this one and press ctrl t and make it flip horizontal and just place this model here so you should take the model upper side of this layer yeah and just place this model over there and select this stone take the blank layer and take the brush and make it black and you can adjust the opacity like this and this so select once so you have to make the opacity up and fill or flow up select once make it smaller for the shadow creation yeah that's good you can make it easily that's good yeah and then flow 100% and the uh, opposite 100% select take another blank layer and make it a little bit bigger and select once press ctrl t make it bigger and make it like that and just place over there and opposite it down yeah that's good and then the light effect here go to the file and place embedded options here is the light portion i'll select this one okay and then just uh, i'll go to the ellipse options selection of ellipse before that make it restylize and select the ellipse like that this portion only press ctrl j you'll get the new layer and delete this portion you'll get only this portion and press ctrl t and make it smaller like that and place this one make it zoom so place this one and like that and hit the ok button and make it go to the blending mode and make it screen or screen like that and go to the filter and blur options and gaussian blur but not too much a little bit yeah that's good i think this one is good and hit the ok button so our photo is almost ready and before that go to the adjustment layer and gradient options select the gradient this one make it radial reverse make it 350 percent make it zero and dither and select here so you can make it like that yeah that's good and select all the things make it group make it merge after that go to the filter camera raw filter and now i will apply the effect which i applied in my photo so go to the settings option load settings and here is the cloud girl options and open it up yeah you are getting this effect in your image you can adjust this if you want or if you don't want this you can do that so 
the saturation variance all the things is good so here is the options the saturation of orange and luminance of orange you can adjust the red also so you can adjust actually so blue color yeah if you make it up you can do that luminance of orange you can up so all the things you can um, do that you have that assumption so and hit the ok button you'll get the nice photo like that so thank you so much thanks for watching my video tutorial if you have any kind of question query request please do comment on my video comment section until the next video i may say my signing out and bye bye